Fafi sahihain dan Abi Hurairah Jasa hadis in sahih Bukhara dan Muslim From Abu Hurairah That Prophet Salaam said Law ya'lamun nasu Ma fi nida'i Wa soffil awal Thumma lam yajidu Illa an yastahimu Alayhi lastahamu Walau ya'lamuna Ma fi At-tahajir Lastabaku ilayhi Walau ya'lamuna Ma fi al-atamati wa subuh La atauhuma walau habuan The Prophet Sallam said Law ya'lamu al-nasu Ma fi al-nida'i Wa soffi al-awwal Had the people known The huge benefit The virtues The rewards In calling to prayer Wa soffi al-awwal And in praying in the first row For men Because The best rule for men, خَيْرُ الصُّفُوفِ الرِّجَالِ أَوَّلُهَا وَخَيْرُ الصُّفُوفِ النِّسَاءِ أَخِرُهَا The best rule for men is the first one, but for women, the best rule is the last one. So if you're a sister, don't pray in the first rule, always pray in the last one. That's the best rule for you. But this hadith, Allah Ta'ala Alam, applies to a situation where there is no demarcation between the rules of the men and the women. Because the first woman will be closer to the last man. But in our situation where we have a section for the women, Wallahu ta'ala alam, this hadith does not apply to that situation. Is that clear? So this hadith does not apply to that situation. So you should pray in the first row, inshallah. So Prophet Salama said, if people know the virtues, the benefits, the huge rewards, in calling to prayer, and in praying in the first row, summa lam yajidu, Illa an yastahimu alayhi lastahamu. And there is no way to be the mu'azzin or to pray in the first row except by casting lots. You roll paper and say, oh yeah, let's throw it. Whoever's name is Pete will be the one to call to prayer. He said, wallahi lastahamu. People would have casted lots to be, to be allowed to call to prayer. This ladani you are seeing that many of you will go by say, no, no, you can't call it. Wallahi. If you know the huge reward there, you would have been snatching my phone from some people's hands. Hey, let me be the one to call it. Even in Sofal Awal, you will be the first one to, to get there. He said, Walau ya'lamuna ma fi tahajir, lastabaku ilayhi. If people know the benefit of going to the mosque very early, Wallahi, they will compete in arriving the mosque earlier. I will get to the mosque before you tomorrow. Walau ya'lamuna ma fi al-atamati wa subuhi la atawhuma walau habwan Had people known the benefit and huge reward in going to the mosque to pray Isa jama'atan and in going to the mosque to pray subuh jama'atan la atawhuma they would have hurried to the mosque walau habwan even if they have to drag their buttocks on the floor Wallahi. Even if you cannot stand up, you have to crawl. You have to drag yourself on the floor. Wallahi, you go there. Do you know why? The Prophet Sallallahu said, Afqalu salatin ala al-munafiq ala atamatu wal-fajr. The most difficult salat for the hypocrites is salat al-isha in jama'ah and salat al-fajr. If you want to know whether you are a munafiq, just imagine how many days in a week, do you go for Salat al-Isha in Jama'a in the mosque and Salat al-Fajr in Jama'a in the mosque? For men, women are exempted. Coming to the mosque to pray is not compulsory for women. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said, Salat al-Mar'ati fi baytiha afdalu min salati fi al-masjid. A woman's prayer in a house. In fact, there's another word that says, a woman's prayer in a room is better than a prayer in the mosque in a compound. Even though he said, لا تمنعوا إماء الله مساجد الله Do not re restrain the women if they say they want to go to the mosque. But as a rewire that has an addition that says وَبُيُوتُهُنَّ خَيْرُ لَهُنَّ But their homes are better for them. So women are very lucky. Islam says pray in your homes and you still get the reward of jama'ah. In fact, you don't have to pray in jama'ah. But if you also pray in jama'ah, it's okay. But your imam will be among you. If women want to pray in Jama'ah, the Imam will be where? She will stand in their midst. 
So there will be people to our right, people to our left. The salat of women is similar to the salat of common or rats, people that are naked. There is no clothes for everybody. The imam will not stand in the front, even if they are men. If there are a group of men who have no clothes, arm robbers stole their clothes. So everybody is naked. And they want to pray, the imam cannot stand in front of them. The imam has to stand in their midst. <laughs> That's how it is. And then somebody said, What if they are more than one rule? <laughs> because the Sharia doesn't want those standing behind to be looking at the girl, those standing before them. So you have to attend the role, Emma Bulonio. That's what the old Abraham said. 